here we have a Kempro KR2000 rotator being controlled by a dial, a CR4P dial preset controller via a Juro BDS35i brake delay interface. The Kempro KR2000 rotator has been upgraded to having the motor start capacitor put on board and being rewired plus had an extra wire added to the unused side of the pot which is for the CR4 only. The BDS35 has automatic brake release plus 3 or 5 seconds selectable brake engagement delay for the KR2000 rotator. The BDS35 connects via a 9 pin terminal block on the back of the standard CR4 or CR4P controller with only one wire added to the unused terminal on the controller. The BDS35 output is via the 8 pin cinch socket for easy connection. Um, the BDS35 also houses a circuit breaker for the solenoid of the rotator and a brake release LED. Let's give it a whirl. Let's turn him on into manual mode. And we'll just do the momentary switch first. Just lightly press down. Brakes disengages. And we'll go for a bit of a drive. And we just release there for a second. Brake engages. We can now go to lockdown mode. So push down, lock. hands-free operation. Come around to south. Brake will engage. Let's go to preset now. Since the preset is set at north, we'll just go straight across, turn her off back over the preset and you'll see now she'll drive all the way back up to the north position Getting close now, and as you can see, uh, when it gets there, it'll stop north, and automatically the brake will be engaged again. And if we wanted to, we can now just go on in preset mode, just dial ourselves up to say, let's go to 90 degrees, and again, hands free operation. There we go, smack bang on. Yep, brake's going to be engaged. And we'll now go around to, to 180 degrees. And there we have it, a uh, one and a half rotation of uh, a KR2000 CR4P and a DBS35 rotator controller. So there you go. 